Tim's regular survival series. Today's stream is going to be quite a short stream, and the reason it is going to be a short stream is because after this, like after um, after the stream, I have two loads of laundry to run. After I run those two loads of laundry, uh, we gotta we gotta prepare like. I guess, well, I guess, like, I gotta get food. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, like, an early-ish dinner. And then I need to go, uh... uh I'm sorry, my head, my head is, like, my head is, like, 90% not here right now. And the reason it's, like, 90% not here is because we just got a potential cancer diagnosis on one of my cats, and I'm still kind of processing. I know, I know that, I know that this is... Kind of a kind of a good way to good way to um like like get 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 my head off of it, but yeah, it's just it's just holy shit. Anyways, we had a visit from a wandering trader. The wandering trader traded us a bunch of stuff, including cherry saplings. Uh, and then we had another one that traded tropical fish. So we bought all of the cherry saplings we could afford, and uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna plant the cherry saplings a little bit outside the village, or like outside. Sorry, I guess outside the um, outside the normal bounds of the village, so that we can grow a couple more cherry trees. And yeah, my cat Bravi might potentially have cancer. He has these lumps. He has these uh, un unidentified lumps in his throat, and and I'm kind of kind of you know out of it. Yeah, my my brain my brain is not one hundred percent working at the moment. So yeah. Uh, anyways, we have a bunch of, oh, we have a bunch of stone, I guess, and I guess we can scrounge up more cobblestone in, oh yeah, we also got a dark oak saplings, we, we planted some dark oak trees, well yeah, I my I just, I just kind of want to stream because I'm going to watch a play with my mum and aunt tonight, and it's, uh, it's it's I I just I just gotta 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 try and get get a little bit of streaming done while I'm while I'm lucid I guess so first things first let's get some of this let's make like let's let's make like twelve buttons okay and then what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to start just replacing this outermost wall so I guess you know what I guess we can keep the outermost outline it's just that this uh it's just that uh i am i am really sorry my head is not my head is not screwed on today it's it's it we we are we 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 are we are we are very very out of it then again, I mean, I, I take I take comfort in the fact that our cat Bravi has has lived a very very good life. He has lived 80 years. But in Singapore, the average the average street cat can expect is like four. He's he's turning 18, so that's that's quite quite a good life as far as as far as I'm concerned. I I really have no idea what I'm doing with this with this particular build. Uh, not really sure how I'm gonna fortify this either. Is this is this a is this a sensible pattern for a wall? I guess I guess this could be a somewhat sensible pattern for a wall. I I'm not I'm not 100%. My brain's not 100% active at the moment. This is a. You know what? Yeah, this 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 looks possible. It's just one, two. Uh, it's it's just yeah yeah that's that's kind of kind of hit me a little hard. I realized this one has silk touch. Okay, then let's let's get a little let's get a little more stone. And we're also gonna want uh 
iron bars in the wall, just just for just for like a safety, just for like the sake of safety. Also, we might wanna might potentially wanna put somewhere we can shoot through the wall, but I'm not I'm not a I'm not one thousand percent on that. I'm not one thousand percent sure if that's super necessary at the moment. That's just yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to fortify the wall, and then if we have time, we can probably run a raid. Actually, you know, we could just we could just put like one or two blocks. We could make it one a couple blocks higher, and then we could run a raid very easily. Oh wait, this one's wait, huh? Oh, this one's oh, this one's five. Got it. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm very very out of it. Uh sorry, trying to trying to think of good news. Uh I'm going to go watch a Winter Night's Tale tonight with my mum and aunt. That's that's cool, I guess. Uh Oh, right. And and I when I went into camp this week, I did a lot of changes to the to the village. I uh, I made one tall observation pillar. I made the uh, mob farm slightly larger. Oh, I, sorry, I increased the catchment area of the mob farm. I put a I put a bigger roof on it, and then I've uh... oh yeah, see, it's already working, already working a charm, I guess. Uh, it's like mobs will spawn up there, and then this uh, switching this uh, switching array of like water will cause them to start dropping, and. Uh, Sorry, I am, I am, I'm really out of it. I had a full night's sleep, but I, I woke up this morning feeling so fucking tired. It was naughty. It was crazy. Anyways, let's 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 not worry about that. My cat's there's a potential it is just some sort of infection with his throat. Okay, and if it's just a throat infection, I'm gonna feel so dumb, like making myself worry like this. But uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two. And then we're gonna have to put some sort of like fortify fortifying wall up here. Or this will be some sort of like pattern break in the wall. So we wanna keep all the villagers inside, but uh we kind of also want them to be able to move to the outer section of the village in the event the inner section of the village is compromised. So I'm not really sure how we're going to do that exactly. Alternatively, since there's farm farmland inside the inside the walls of the village. We just make sure that all the villagers who are outside don't have job, don't have like super important jobs, and that I guess like you know the we can I guess like a sector will protect itself. Okay, this looks like a somewhat defensible wall. Now let's let's go get some of the uh, some of the blocks I've set aside for wall defense. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just make like a eh. You know what? 31, 31 iron bars is a six three three stacks. I'm sorry, I, I need to apologize. I am really fucking out of it. So, um, oh, wait. Okay, uh, you you do that, I guess. Hold on. I can... I can make this symmetric one on the other side, so... Should maybe wait for night so that all the villagers will come in and then just like close the close the door. Also another concern is that they might you know, the, the village might be large enough that the ops are gonna start spawning inside the walls. 
Nothing I can do about that still. It's it's uh unfortunate. Would be unfortunate, because that would kill kill a lot of our guys. Hello. Uh you know what? I think I should wait for nightfall before I start doing the uh the the part where I lock up that section of the wall. Also this part's um yeah, this part's gonna have a similar thing. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, this is six. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, this is six. Uh, we're going to have three, four, five. Okay, this this section of the wall is going to be a little bit different. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four, six. Then we're going to... Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna I'm be real with you. I'm, at this point, I'm just fucking freestyling. I'm just freestyling this. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really out of my head at the moment. This is, this is um. it like that and then hope that would yeah you know that 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 should be good enough okay so this is one of the five block ones so one two three okay You know what? This 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 will work out fine. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can finish blocking them in by the end of tonight. Oh, but sorry, by the end of this in-game, I guess. This one shouldn't be much of a concern. This shouldn't be like a point of progress or anything. This should just be a house that needs to go eventually, and then we'll we'll uh, restructure things around the wall. Ooh, right door. Um. Uh. I think for the moment I can just very quickly grab uh. Uh. Right. Right. We need more iron for that. grab like nine doors that should be plenty uh, one here and then we'll have a door in actually you know what? let's let's make it symmetric let's let's put the door let's put the uh, put the put the door up there Wow, I, I, I don't know why, just streaming for like three minutes has made me feel tired. don't have enough I don't have enough actual stone to finish the entire wall that's 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 embarrassing but also kind of kind of funny to just want to make sure I'm not turning this place into some sort of secret mob spawner inside the village walls uh, and I really don't know what I'm gonna do about Bravi. I mean, we, well, we know, it's just I, I, if the choice is, you know, having him suffering 
Uh, having giving him like the the, the, the a, a merciful death, then then we know what to do. Same thing, same way we know what to do with people when people are suffering. But at the same time, it's it's just fuck, man. This is this is gonna be this is probably gonna go on the Hall of Fame as like one of the worst streams ever. <laughs> one of the most depressing streams ever. So I'm I'm realizing that I might need to give the enemy some sort of point of ingress so they can so they can enter the village, but it's got to become like like you know a, a kill chamber. They've they've got to get funneled into one spot, and then it's one spot where they don't have like the melee distance and they just get slaughtered by golems. Yeah, that's 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 basically the plan. Sorry if I sound very out of it. I kind of am very out of it. Also, I'm gonna have to come back at some point later and make these walls look nice. I'm gonna have to put like stairs and, and pillars and everything just so they look aesthetic, you know. I don't want don't want an ugly looking base. Yeah? I have not, I'm afraid. I can do it now. You do it? Okay. Uh, yeah, see I'm 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 scatterbrained scatterbrained. I think most of my head might be gone. Okay. Uh, At least I can still do basic mathematics, but yes, uh, we need to. We need to. We need. We need. Uh, we need to keep keep working on the walls. Why? What is? What was? What was that? Jesus Christ! Um. Yeah, This can be this can be some sort of like sneaky way out of the village. Uh, I guess we put like a we put like iron double doors here, and then we'll go like this will hopefully be a sneaky way to exit the village. I guess so. I'll put like a like a door here, door here, and then there's gonna be. A button here that'll open both, and then a button here that'll open both. I guess that that's that makes sense. So let me just do that. Do this. Put the iron doors up here, so we can do this, this, and then. Okay, so yeah, that's that's one sneaky sneaky escape route, escape route pathway. I guess way out the village. Uh, and I guess we should level this off so it's about the same height. Uh, that, that one's that one's an uneven height, so. One, two, three. I am I am a little out of it. Sorry, that's that's 
I know I've said quite a few times that I'm a little out of it, but I, I really am a little bit out of it. I really don't know why I chose now to stream. Maybe, maybe it's because I kind of feel the obligation to stream, and I know that I'm not going to have that many chances throughout this week. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to be... The next, the next couple weeks are going to be busy, because I'm in the military and... National Day is coming up. We we might be on we might be on standby to do to do some more National Day stuff. Three. And then you know what we can do? We can just do something convenient like this. Part of me thinks that this this shouldn't be that big of a deal. That I should just kind of like man up and, and power through it. And honestly, that's 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 a valid valid point of view. Also, my cat has lived a very long, very good life. So I don't I don't know what I'm complaining about. We can put a set of put down a set of double doors here. I guess this is vaguely this area seems vaguely okay for it. And then if I put put like a redstone, okay, yeah, we can we can we can figure out a way to open this, open them both. You know what? Yeah, this 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 works. Aesthetically, this works. I guess it's 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 possible. You know. Now now what I should consider doing is I should consider putting like trap doors in 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 these walls. And then, you know, when 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 there's an enemy that shows up, I flip open a trap door, shoot them, and then close the trap door or something like that. Just just a. I don't know. I just want to see how well. How well walls, like physical obstructions, like walls, are going to help us against like enemy pillager incursions. I say enemy pillager incursions as if any of them are our friends. One, two, three, four, five. So for some reason, I decided to put a big, like, 3x3 three three entryway here. I have no earthly idea why I did that, but I'm guessing that that's gonna be like a... That's gonna be like the entry... 
like the main entry to the village and also the part where I come to kill the enemies that you know basically bleed through like we'll give them we'll give them an opening so the AI pathfinding will like tell them like they can they can come through and it's basically going to be a golem filled murder hole that yeah where we just like as soon as they come in we cut them off cut them off basically uh separate them like the ravagers are gonna the ravagers are gonna be you know easy to hit from from an angle where they can't retaliate we're gonna we're gonna have the hole lined with golems uh we're gonna just chisel away at them you know The real problem is going to be is it was going to be if they uh if they form form inside the village that's then then it's just going to be pandemonium but uh we'll we'll we'll, we'll figure something out We've, we've always figured shit out before. I don't see why we can't figure shit out today. Also, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the fight wearing my basic, like, Dragon Slayer gear. Which is, uh... Which is sen sentimental to me, because it's the suit I wore to fight the dragon. This is only like the second or third time I've killed a dragon on stream. The uh, the other time was I believe Hollow Hardcore Seven. It might might have been yeah it, it was it was seven seven was the seven was the one we did super super good in until we died in a woodland mansion. Maybe I put a maybe I put like a slab there so it looks like I don't know intentional intentional design. Actually, wait, no, no, no. It, it is intentional design. It's in it's an intentional design meant to get the enemies to come running through so that we can slaughter them. So if the enemies if the enemies come from this side, we're gonna be basically blind is is what I figure. So we have fortified the shit out of this place. I realize I realize this now, but we have really we have really gone crazy with the fortifications. Honestly, I'm pretty sure like a normal fence would have done the trick to keep to keep enemies out. Instead, instead now, now we have a walled city, which I guess is good. I mean, we are we are now slightly better protected, slightly better protected in a world that kind of wants us dead, or well, kind of wants these Minecraft dead. Uh, not not these 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 silly little creatures are not well loved. Streaming. Yeah. See you later. Okay. See you later. Wait. One, 
two, three, four, one, two, two, three. Okay, so there must be some significance behind that one four block one. Um, that I just miscounted terribly. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, And out of stone again. Whoops. Uh, not a problem. There's plenty of stone here. This this is not. We have not even handled one stretch of what we need taken out. Also get rid of. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me get rid of the stone hole with less durability. Let me also get rid of those wheat seeds because. I mean, honestly, we could we could. We'll probably have thrown those inside the walls and that would have done a little bit to help the villagers reproduce, but yeah. Sorry if I sorry if I'm giving the camera a very funny face. I'm just I'm just at the moment I'm just trying to hold it all together, you know. Trying to trying to keep everything moving. I'm part of I'm part of a f I guess a select few people who believe that like video games can be very therapeutic if you let them. And at this rate, I'm really just trying to feel the therapeutic effect. Just trying to keep shit going, you know. Should be enough to finish the whole thing, right? Yeah, that's that's plenty. This is plenty. Gotta take advantage of the fact that it's currently night and have all the villagers, and that I now have all the villagers in. See, look, we already get shit like this. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You know what? You stay outside. You stay outside. Uh, not because you did anything bad, mainly because you are a really good defensive asset. walls been sealed up. Let me just do a quick run around check. If if all of them have, then we have massively, massively overused iron bars. We have crafted way, way too many iron bars. Which means we might just have to build like I don't know, build like an arm, like a build some sort of fortified city. Yeah, I think this is I think this is mainly 
There's mostly enough iron bars. Now, I just need to craft a couple of fences. Because we're not, we're not building the, uh, I guess the, the, the trapped area where they like, where they all come rushing inside. We're not building that immediately. We're just, uh, giving them, giving them like a root of egress, a root of ingress. I think it's ingress. So they think they have a way in. But they don't. Well, I mean, they do. That's not the kind of way in they want. So we go like. So they come rushing through because they. I guess the AI tells them that this is this is a good way through, and that you know this is this is a this is a way way into the village, and it and it is I guess, but it's also the killing grounds. So then I'll just two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now this should be. Oh, and just to, just to stall them even further, I'm gonna put this one fence gate there, just just to just to be annoying. So um, let's very quickly pop through. Let's check that every single villager is here. Is every single bed taken up? Okay. That's uh. I think it's time for us to go start the raid. So let me just fly. Oh, wait, maybe I could make more fireworks. Do I have do I have paper really available? I have gunpowder. I have gunpowder in in spades, but Basically, just fly over to my fly over to my home. Uh, we could take mm, we could take the Nether pathway, I guess. But you know, I'm already airborne, so. I'm not getting lost. I know the general direction of my base. Yep, you know what? It's it is actually this this is the general direction of my base. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, there should be a river flowing through here. Mm, following the river and making a turn here. Okay, just outside. Oh, wow, I, I realize I don't have any arrows. It's a good thing I- oh, whoops. No, no, trying to fly through that bamboo thicket would get me fucking killed. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna- oh, shit, apparently, apparently I'm gonna struggle to get into my house. Put one of these bad boys here, and then... We're just gonna run and kill these guys. I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry about this too. You you didn't you didn't deserve that. Okay, so I got bad omen too. Uh, gotta be very careful that I don't fly over another village. I have to put this on my hot bar. I 
I know that there are other villagers kind of close to where I live, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to start a raid in the right village. Also, this mountain looks like a good place to go exploring for ancient cities. Uh, you know what? There might be there might be one down there. We can we can just uh, I don't know find some find something explodey and then go take a look. So uh, okay, we should be heading in the right general direction. My bad, I missed. I missed by quite a quite a distance. Okay, so we're gonna go up. Sorry. Uh, come through here and try and stick as close to this thing as I can. Because once we enter a certain, yep, there we go. Here comes the raid. Here comes the raid, everyone. All right. Uh, jump down. Switch over to my shield. Whoa, whoops. I mean. Switch over to my... That was that was dumb. Okay, now the villagers are... You know what, maybe I should have been flying around just to pinpoint it from the air. Where is the... Where, where's the raid party spawning? Hello? Oh wait, I see you! I see the raid. That's where you are. Hello! Good morning. Welcome, welcome to Rest Village, by the way. I hope you I hope you enjoy your stay. Bada bing. Okay, so that that pretty much worked as intended. Uh, where's the, uh, okay, they're coming, okay, they're outside, they're outside the bamboo wall, that's actually pretty hilarious. I think there should be a single golem, like, positioned out there. Yeah, and then he's gonna go pick up that one, and I'm gonna kill him. Wait, wait, there's one more. Okay, there's one more guy left. Hold on. Uh, hey, Frankenstein, can you kill him? I should leave like I should leave purposeful gaps in the walls, maybe. I I failed. I failed. That was terrible. So wait, does does the ominous horn blaring give us like a direction? Does it tell us like, hey, pillagers are coming from this these bearings? Oh, I guess kind of. Oh look, they're bringing the ravagers. That's cool. Hey, do, you you missed. Excuse me, buddy. You you hold on. Hold on, he might need a little help on this one. Hey, uh, excuse me, are you the the Ravager here somewhere? I guys, I think I think the Ravager got lost. Okay, I might have over fortified this a little. Also, the Ravager has apparently got apparently got killed. I don't know how. Oh, you know what? Oh, witches! Okay, you guys are kind of the priority to kill. You guys are kind of it's kind of a priority to take you guys out. 
you are. I think you're. I think in terms of range, you've come up a little short. I don't know, I don't know why, like, where they're going, I don't know where their pathfinding is taking them, but they are not gonna find an easy way into the village. Not, not, not after the fortifications I've made. To think, to think that is kind of, abs that is kind of an absurd notion. Oh right, there's a stack, there's a there's a vine that leads up, but I don't know if they have the, I don't know if the AI is intelligent enough to tell them that. Also, my hunch is that they are gonna come from the same direction as before, which is a. Uh... Yep. Hey, check it out. There's a uh, so many people you can kill in the village. The golem might cause a little trouble because it might fling them up. Uh oh. Yeah, the golem might fling fling something up, and then the things they fling up. The uh oh yikes. I was gonna say the, the things they fling up when they hit us might uh the things they accidentally fling over the wall might cause me and might cause me a bit of an issue. I might just, I might just fling, send flaming arrows at a distance. He is too goddamn fast. Oh, never mind. You, you are substantially easier to kill without. Hey, first totem of the run, I guess. It seems we've lost another golem. Wait, why is... How is the raid taking this much damage? We're not... I'm not even... I'm not even fighting that wave. Do they... Do they all, like, spawn... In a wall or something? Oh, no, that's... That's one of them. Uh, there must be golems out here doing something, right? Oh. Ow. I fucking... I forgot. I forgot that I do not have Elytron. Also, I am getting really bad luck. I've dropped like 4-ish four, four frames a second. Same place as usual? Oh no, not same place as usual. Where's the Okay, got it. Got it, got it. So the raids the raids happening over there. Uh I don't know if they can shoot me through the bamboo. Well if they can't I found a pretty good place to troll them. Deal with y'all. 
Okay, uh, let's see. This should be this should be an advanced like a more advanced level of raid. I don't know why there's so few of so few of them. Oh yeah, yeah. Summon, summon, summon your summon your boys. Call your boys. There's a hole in the fence right there. I have no idea why there's a yikes. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's let's get indoors. Yeah, I, I trust I trust the golems are gonna help eventually, maybe. No? Okay. Well I guess our hope is the Oh wait, why no wandering trader here? Hold on, what do you have? What do you have? Oak, cactus, pumpkin, uh, none of this, none of this is, none of this is all that, we don't need any of this all that much. Okay, I'm just going to stand by the golem so that whenever they swing, my golem, this, 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 this golem can handle them. Okay, yeah, these things these things have beef with me in particular, so How did I hit the how did I hit the one I wasn't aiming at? Okay. Literally, what fucking point do vexes serve? What point did? What point? What purpose do you serve? Also, have we have we lost a bunch of villagers? We feel like we've lost a few. You know, we got to take to the skies and, and like death from above them. That's that's probably our best option. Come on, let's let's I'm surprised. I, I assume they'd be able to break bamboo or oh. The very least do like do do something annoying. Hold on. Can I can I get your Let me just let me just shoot at your evoker. Hold on. Oh thank god. Got him, got him out before he, uh... Got him, got him to die before he did anything that I would regret. Whew, uh, there's still one more Ravager out on the outside, so I, no wait, is there? There's two saddles here. Oh yeah, 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 I see you, I see you, motherfucker. Thank you. I'm also gonna grab that totem which you presumably dropped. Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come be annoying. Who cares? Uh, we got... Uh oh We got ways into the village. And let me just... Let me basically just kite them into the village after me. We can, uh... Yeah, yeah, Get, Get in, get in. Come through. I mean, I'll I'll come through. You just you just kind of stay there.
I think this should be the last wave. I don't know. I haven't been keeping count, but I think this might be seven. But, uh, right, four totems. Best, the best outcome is usually you get, like, five. Two of you guys left. There's one of you guys left. Um, I don't. I don't see the last guy. Uh, we should have a bell somewhere, so I can probably just. Not better than a bell is a. You know, take to the skies, fly around. Oh, there you are. Oh, there's another wave. My bad. This must be the seventh, I hope. I could also do what cowards do and just park my park my ass all the way at the top and fire down on them. That being said, I have no earthly idea where the raid is. Okay, okay, yeah, that's that's good. That's good because uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. I got taken down incredibly quick, holy cow. Okay. Drop. That's swap. Okay, so there's a few villagers are trying to use that one to get to break through. Oh, okay. Got a few unwanted guests down here. But I don't see another evoker, so. There's, there's only one problem evoker. Okay, there's one evoker left. Oh, there's one problematic evoker. Let me get let me get out out there. Okay, I see him. I vaguely I'm vaguely aware of where he is. Uh see him. Oh, it's actually two of them, my bad. Was 
was that was that the last thing? Oh wait, hold on. That was a witch. There's a there's a witch out here. Um okay, where did she Okay, I see her. There we go. Okay, so we have completed Hero of the Village post model and voluntary exile in one in one stream. I think that's pretty decent. Uh I don't Yeah, I'm not sure how these vexes are still around. They're, aren't they supposed to die like almost instantly? Uh Oh, whatever the case is, I'm just going to pick up the stuff, unconcerned, because we have won. And uh, now that we've won, all of our villagers are going to give us slightly better prices, I believe. Yeah, so we've got 40 minutes of Hero of the Village, that's pretty good. It makes sense since we spent like 40 minutes preparing for this, and I think like 40 minutes may have been the raid. Now that everyone... Okay, I, I, saw, I saw all the beds filled except for one. Kind of leads me to think at least one guy got killed. That's unfortunate, but I mean, they have, we have done. If only one guy is dead, we had, we have done okay for ourselves. I love the stray golems that are just like walking around the village randomly. They, they, they're gone. But a lot of, a lot of, a lot of everyone else is still here. So yeah. And as a total profit, we have six totems of undying, give, come, including the one I'm holding. That's fun, which is good. Uh, now, some things I could do to, I guess, simplify future raids would be to, um, I guess, I guess, well, I guess there's no, there's no bones about it. We gotta fortify the village a little bit better. Uh, I'm thinking sweet berries might be the answer to a lot of our problems. Just Sweet berries, magma blocks, uh, you know, things, things that will kill enemies when they step on them. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I guess villager turrets, oh, sorry, uh, snow, snowman turrets. They're the same guy, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me find my priest villager. Well, first let me find some rotten flesh. And then let me find my priest villager. Hey buddy, what are you doing? What are you selling it for now? Okay. And let me also check that... Okay, this is a small discount, but it's decent-ish. Thank you. Thank you for giving me free lapis, by the way. I appreciate that. Uh, I've been. I've just been stockpiling. I have really been out here just stockpiling. Uh, where's the... um? Where are the Oh right, sorry, I was gonna ask where are my where are my uh where are my advanced trader guys, but then I was like, yeah, oh wait, okay, they're all they're all kept safely away. Hello. Uh three emeralds for a bell. You know what? We're never we are never ever gonna have a trade for a bell that cheap. Let's just let's just do that. Four string. Four string for a Four, four pieces of string for a for an emerald is actually quite a bit better than our usual rate. So let's let's go grab some string so we can capitalize on that. And uh, yeah, my my sword's taken a bit of a beating. My armor has not because it's all got mending. My uh my bow has my bow has lost a shitload of durability. And we might want to get we might want to work on getting a unbreaking book or unbreaking villager soon. But yeah, that's that's handy. And I'm glad. I'm glad that we've survived that raid in one piece. We we did we did okay. I think we've done okay. Uh that raid could have gone a lot better. We could have oh thank you. Free redstone. Thank you so much. We we could have uh we could have not lost anyone. But I mean, you know, you live, you learn Oh, whoops, sorry. Uh, uh, 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have clay. That's cool. Um, they now they're now giving us slightly cheaper trades. That's cool. Uh, slightly cheaper trades here, except I don't really have need for saddles or horse armor. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know what, actually, actually, let me go see what the uh, toolsmith villagers are trading, uh, 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 charging for. That is cheaper. Okay, from 27, 18 for diamond pants, 10 for diamond boots, 11 for helmet, 23 for chest plate. 20 for pickaxe, 9 for shovel, those are actually kind of decent rates. Those those rates are actually quite decent. And I might just be inclined to pick some up in the event that we have some future project that requires... Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. In the event we have some kind of future project that requires a lot of... a lot of stuff. So let me just very quickly uh, just find an available chest. So pickaxes... Shovels. That's. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit scatterbrained at the moment. Well, we got nine ominous banners. I don't know what we could don't know what we could do with those, but we can probably make something cool eventually. Uh, did we? Did we dump all of the emeralds we had? We might have... Uh, which chest did I just blindly throw them all into? Oh, we didn't? Uh, I guess guess not. Damn, if this is Hero of the Village 2, I wonder, I wonder what like Hero of the Village 5 is like. Hero of the Village 5 must go crazy. Okay, uh, thank you very much. And you know what? I might want to pick up more suits of more suits of armor, but uh, you know what? Sure, hold on. I I just realized I can't can't afford them. Whoops. Uh, still poor, still poor. We're gonna fix that eventually, but we're still poor at the moment. You know what? I, I know. I know. We already get these for dirt cheap, but we might as well pick up a couple more. Uh, and oh, hey, thank you for that leather. I guess still the same trade, but I, I like. I, I should have been picking up a ton more bricks as time as time went on. Oh yes, that trade is actually one that is super super useful to me. Um. One other trade that I should have been picking up a shitload of is um the the the, the mending books trade. Let me go get my let me go hunt down books. Bingo uh, books. I should buy more golden carrots, but they're not that much cheaper than usual. And uh, yeah. All oh, right, we've been we've been stockpiling a shitload of bone. I don't know if we're gonna use that for any building block, but I guess I guess it's feasible now. Oh wait, my I just realized my uh I just realized our mending villager is technically outside the village now. Whoops. As a matter of interest, how much do you now charge? This is going to start pissing me off really quickly. How much do you now charge for vending books? 16 apiece. That's that's good. Uh, name tags are cheaper. Compass is cheaper. Okay, that's that's good. That's good good value, I guess. Uh, 
I did not give myself a way in. Uh, okay, I might have burned a lot of emeralds trading, trading for those tools, but those tools should come in clutch eventually. Uh, I guess I guess if anything, now's a now's a good place for me to end the stream. Since I'm not going to be doing a lot, I'm really just going to be sitting here, like, mildly catatonic, you know. Mildly cathonic. Oh, hey, hold on. Shovels are even cheaper now. This is going to be good for if I ever need to, you know, uncover massive areas. If I decide to like, if I decide to build my industrial district here, this is good for if I ever decide. You know what? Let's let's just clear out like a, let's clear out like half a million blocks of space. You know, just just when you when you need to do projects like that. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for joining me on the stream. I'm sorry if I seemed kind of unengaged. Sorry if I seemed kind of out of it. But yeah, yeah. I will. I should be. I should be better next stream when we know what we're doing with my cat. I'll see you later. Goodbye.